Good morning, everybody. Is there anybody out there? Good morning. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, as Catherine said, my name is uh, Rob Jackson. I am a director of, of Rob Jackson Consulting, and uh, I'm here representing the European Volunteer Centre, on whose behalf I have co-chaired um, the Quality Volunteering Working Group. Um, you will see on the slide in fr uh, on the screen, these are the various different organisations that we drew our members from for the working group. And uh, they don't know I'm going to do this, but there are a good number of members of our working group in the room. So if those of you who were on the Quality Volunteering Working Group would like to stand up so everybody else can see you. The these are the people that did the hard work. Uh, and, and I want to pay a particular thank you to uh, Maurice from the uh, French Red Cross, who was my co-chair. So thank you, Maurice. I just get the glory of standing up in front of you all. They did all the work. Um, we were given uh, a number of objectives uh, on our working group um, for the course of this year. Um, the first of which was to work towards a common understanding of quality volunteering. Um, and those of us who were on the group will attest that that took a very long time indeed. Uh, and we will share the results of that with you in a second. Um, that we were to clarify the roles and responsibilities of the organisers of volunteering in ensuring quality volunteering experiences. So those people who manage and lead volunteers, what are their role in making sure that volunteering is good quality for the volunteer? And then we were to try and identify and share good practice in the field of quality assurance and quality assessment tools used by volunteer involving organisations. And in one of the end notes to the PAVE document, I think it's end note 20, 22, you will see a link to a, a, a resource that's available on the Alliance website that contains a number of different resources from across the EU on not only measuring quality of volunteering, but also of NGOs and volunteer involving organisations. So, as I said, one of our big challenges was coming up with a definition of quality volunteering. And in fact, the, the discussions have continued even here this week about the definition of quality volunteering. Um, and after nine months of hard work, this is what we came up with. Um, we felt that quality volunteering is when a volunteer is enabled and supported to provide a positive impact. But we felt that a, a couple of those terms needed some further explanation. First of all, positive impact is making a measurable difference, often to an expected common objective. And um, when we talk about enabled and supported, we're meaning a safe, strong and free environment where volunteers are empowered and resourced to make sure that the impact that they have is positive. And there were a number of principles that went along with this. The first was that really for quality volunteering to take place, and to really capture the true spirit and benefits of volunteering, the activity has to be undertaken as an act of free will. There has to be choice by the individual to volunteer or not to volunteer. That a key enabler to uh, sustaining quality volunteering is sustainable and long-term funding for volunteer-involving organisations so that they can resource the support and empowerment of their volunteers effectively. And that because many of the demands of society that volunteers are working on are very rarely short term, then a medium to long term approach by organisations to the strategic involvement of volunteers and ensuring quality experiences for those volunteers is needed. And very early on, one of the reasons why we struggled with a definition is because when we talk about quality of volunteering, we realised, are we talking about the quality of the experience, the quality of the opportunities, the quality of the management, there was a whole range of different answers. So in March of this year, we developed within the working groups the now famous wheel of quality, which on this slide has turned more into an oval of quality rather than a wheel, um, and picks up those four elements um, that we think are important to driving quality. The quality of the opportunities that the volunteers actually have to volunteer, the quality of the impact that that work by volunteers makes on society, the quality of the management and leadership that is provided by organisations for the volunteers, and then other enablers such as funding, political environment, policies, etc., that are, are important to make sure that quality volunteering happens. 
So again, I will briefly summarise some of the recommendations from uh, the PAVE document. As Catherine said, there's a lot in there, so I'll, I can't really do it full justice today, but to, to give you some of the recommendations. For all stakeholders, um, that we need to agree quality volunteering principles that allow volunteering to flourish and contribute effectively to society. And a key part of that is to continue to identify good practice models of how to measure and monitor the quality and impact of volunteering and share those with each other. Um, this was one of the ones we agreed on fairly early on in the process, that too often funding for volunteering is based on the numbers of volunteers engaged with no relation to the activity that the volunteers undertake and that we would really like funding increasingly, whether it's EU funding, member state funding, government funding, voluntary funding, to shift much more to being funding the quality and the impact of the work that volunteers do, rather than just the number of people volunteering. Uh, recommendations at EU level was absolutely to conduct and fund research on volunteering and particularly on initiatives to measure the quality of volunteering. At member state level, that we should agree together with other stakeholders in our countries a national framework of the key principles and components of quality volunteering so that we have some kind of benchmark within our countries, ideally that links back to any EU uh, level uh, work around this, that actually allows us to be able to identify and measure quality volunteering. In the UK, the four elements of the UK have uh, a shared uh, approach through the Investing in Volunteers standard, which was developed by a small group of local infrastructure organisations in South London and now operates uh, across the country and we felt that kind of model was right rather than trying to put in place common frameworks for the whole EU which didn't respect the diversity within each of the individual member states. Um, social partner recommendations, uh, as Catherine said, social partners in our work we were particularly looking at uh, trade unions who let's not forget are largely organised through volunteer effort themselves uh, and uh, Co uh, co corporations and employee volunteer programs um, and we very much felt that there was a link through with, with the work of our colleagues in working group six and uh, that were looking at employee volunteering to promote corporate, corporate social responsibility policies that result in much better quality volunteering so these same principles apply just as much to CSR and employee volunteering as they do to any other form of volunteering uh, and the recommendations for civil society that we absolutely need to make sure that as uh, NGOs, civil society organisations, we implement strategies and invest resources in the continuous development of effective leadership, participation and volunteer management. Um, we've seen sadly in the UK the pattern repeat when financial times get tough. The first thing that organisations cut is their resource around volunteer engagement and volunteer management. And we would a absolutely say that that is counter to delivering good quality volunteering opportunities. This is exactly the time that we need to be investing in good practice in volunteer management and leadership. And that we should work harder to promote and support the recognition, training and development of volunteers so that the quality of the activity that they undertake is even more meaningful. So that gives you a very quick summary of uh, the activities that our working group has been doing. Uh, and hopefully has come in well under the 10 minutes time period. Very much encourage you to read uh, what we have said in the PAVE document uh, and also to speak to myself or any of the other members of the working group who stood up <coughs> earlier if you would like to ask us any further questions during the course of the next day about what we've been doing. Thank you very much.